Wanna jump scare your friend? Wait for a thunderstorm, then trap a mob in a structure like this? Make sure to not have any other blocks over the structure though, or else this won't work. Then throw multiple channeling tridents on the block above the mob. When you now break this block, a huge lightning bolt will appear, which will make a loud sound. Know that we're already in a thunderstorm, let's gather one of the ingredients for the next prank. Throw a channeling trident at a creeper to turn Turn it into a charged creeper and then make this creeper blow up a regular creeper to collect a creeper head. When done, create a large tube out of a block of your choice. The longer the tube, the rarer this prank will occur which might make it harder for your victim to realize that it is a prank. Creating it too long on the other hand could possibly make it so that your victim won't get pranked at all or very rarely at least, so try to find a balance. Continue with placing an observer at the bottom facing into the tube like this. Place then a redstone torch behind the observer and alternate between a block of your choice and a redstone torch every other time on top of this until you get to the top of the tube. When you're done with this, place a dispenser beside the top redstone torch facing into the tube. Put a lava bucket inside this dispenser. Also beside the top redstone torch, place a note block and on on top of this note block place the creeper head we got from before. Break and place back again the lowest redstone torch to activate the prank. Every time the lava disappear and reappears at this observer, a signal will be sent up to the note block which will create a creeper sound. Additionally, the same signal will also power the dispenser which will restart the process. If your friend has an animal farm, put a skull catalyst under it so that when they're killing animals, a spread of skulk will appear. By making this contraption, you can make it so that whenever your friend closes their door, this annoying sound will start playing. Let me teach you how to create it. Place down a calibrated skulk sensor two blocks under your friend's door. Then waterlog it and surround it in wool on all sides except for the block above it. After that, place a comparator behind the wool facing the purple bit of the calibrated skulk sensor like shown in the footage. Then place a lectern beside the comparator, put a 30 page book on it and turn to side 17. This will make it so that the calibrated skulk sensor will only react to when the door above closes. Place two observers facing up like this and place another comparator on top of that again. Then place redstone dust under the lowest observer leading into a piston. On top of the piston place a redstone block and two blocks of your choice separately beside it at the same level with red some dust on top of them both leading each into their own target block with a redstone torch placed on them on the opposite side of the redstone like shown in the footage. Place then a block of your choice over both of these redstone torches. On these two blocks place yet another redstone torch above each of the target blocks. Between the redstone torches and the block they are standing on place redstone dust. At the end of this line line of redstone dust, place a comparator like this. Place then two more comparators separately on both sides of this comparator and connect them all up with the redstone dust like shown in the footage. Then place observers facing into this line of redstone dust on all sides of it. Behind each of these observers, place a bell and then you're done. Now there is probably a way to create this contraption a bit more compact, but this works works as well, I guess. If you place a comparator behind your friend's chest like this, you can make it so that depending on how much they have in their chest, something will happen. I have an example on what you can do here, but feel free to come up with something yourself. Thanks for watching.